For three years, White's Ferry, which carried people over the Potomac River since 1786, has sat idle. At issue, a legal feud between the ferry's owners in Maryland and a family farm in Virginia where the ferry lands. And today, a Montgomery County Council Committee tried to try there and navigate a solution. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald live in Poolsville. Uh, Fitz, were they able to cross that divide? Well, to continue this line of thought, they were not able to get to that other shoreline of a solution. But look, you talk to folks here in Poolsville, they'll tell you the fact that these two owners were even talking today is something that they are going to use on to hope. Take a look at this from Sky Fox drone today. Now, Libby Devlin, who is the owner of Rockland Farm over on the Virginia side of the river, says her family's not going to let White's Ferry land on their shoreline unless its owners start paying them 50 cents per car. Now, at a Montgomery County Council hearing today, White's Ferry's owner Chuck Kuhn says that would amount to about 60 percent of all of his profits from running the ferry. He's even offered to donate the ferry to Montgomery County to get it up and running. He's even offered to buy the farm as well. So far, nothing's worked. The only reason my wife and I bought the ferry was to protect the county, to keep the ferry in the river so we could get the ferry open again. Unfortunately, we've exhausted all attempts working together with Rockland. Well, I've always said from the beginning that we want to have a per vehicle, per, char per car charge, so that we can, uh, you know, have a payment for the amount of encroachment on our property. All right, so let's break down the numbers. About 800 cars used White's ferries every day, so 50 cents per car roughly comes to about $2,800 a week. Now, Poolsville residents tell us Fox 5 that Losing White's Ferry really has kind of altered life here and severed a major connection to get over to Northern Virginia. Local leaders say the economic loss has been devastating. Montgomery County Council's President Evan Glass said today he thinks it's time that Loudoun County in Virginia swing into action. You heard some of the stats that took place in the hearing. Millions and millions and millions of dollars of economic impact throughout the county and through our um, our region. I can see how it creates controversy to people coming to Maryland to commute and stuff like that. If the problem were on the Montgomery County side here in Maryland, I would use eminent domain to support our community. Uh, but this property is not in Montgomery County. It is not. It was clear from the hearing today that the White's Ferry owner and the Rockland farm owners still do not see eye to eye. Fox 5 did throw out a line today to Loudoun County officials. Uh, we're still waiting for that ship to come in. We are live in Poolville tonight. We'll send it back in to you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Fitz. Uh, obviously, a contentious issue. That continues. Uh, part of our Fox 5 Live Incible question here, should White's Ferry reopen to the public? And you can see here, 97% of you weighing in saying yes, they should. Scan that QR code or head to fox5dc.com slash instable.